Good day, everybody. And in this week's Value News Flash, we're going to demystify the basics around agent visibility. Now, when we talk about visibility, at least as it pertains to cybersecurity, we're talking about the ability to see every action taken by the adversary. So everything they did to gain initial toehold in the environment, all of the reconnaissance they did once they were in, any beachhead establishment, any lateral moves, credential harvesting, file activity, persistence deployed, and moving to the mission objective, whatever that may be, exfiltration, extortion through ransomware, whatever it might be. And we need all of this visibility to ensure that the security teams can take clear remediation actions for the incident that they're investigating so they can put things back into operation, but also go and look and analyze what the adversary did or attempted to do so they can assess whether more risk reduction actions can be taken to get them closer to that zero trust environment where the adversary cannot succeed in their mission objective. Now the visibility timeline Pretty basic here. There's going to be activity occurring on the endpoints and in the network prior to a breach or breach attempt occurring. And then if the adversary does a spear fish, doesn't exploit, or it's an insider that starts to do whatever malicious activity they're going to do, you start in that breach activity window. And whatever activity is going to go on occurs, and at some point, um, either the adversary is blocked out and they give up, or they complete their mission and then they start removing themselves from the environment, uh, deleting things that they've done, clearing logs if they can, removing other evidence, whatever they can remove, and then they exit out of the environment and then things at least would normally go back to post-breach activity and look like normal operations. So, and the longer that that post-breach activity can go on, the greater chance the adversary has of never being detected. So when we talk about these annual reports that come out where the average dwell time that an adversary lived in an environment for weeks, months, sometimes even years, that is why it's then so difficult to go back and figure out, well, how did they get in? Now let's talk about the visibility timeline as it pertains to XDR endpoint capabilities. With the XDR Pro endpoint capabilities enabled on the agent and deployed on an endpoint, you're going to get full visibility of everything going on on that endpoint across the entire visibility timeframe. So you'll be able to assess what was happening on the endpoint leading up to the actual breach attempt or breach success, all the activity that the adversary did, and as we see in the demonstration scenarios that we've created, where we've put everything into alert mode only, we don't block anything, because we want you to see how much visibility this agent is providing, you see everything the adversary is doing with setting up persistence, all of the network connections that it makes out um, from the endpoint, all of the registry changes, files that they create, files they read, files they delete, all of these different things, process, child process, grandchild processes that they spin up, everything is recorded in the telemetry and accessible in the XDR console. Even after the, even the actions the adversary takes in trying to cover their tracks by clearing the event logs, deleting these files, hiding in areas that normally people wouldn't look. All of these things, you see everything the adversary doing, and you see everything that's occurring after the adversary has left and you're back into poached breach activity mode. So in your agent settings, one, make sure that you're highly recommending that uh, XDR Pro is the licensing they should get with the agent. And then make sure that you go into the agent settings in your agent profile and enable XDR Pro endpoint capabilities. 
Now, next up, let's talk about XDR and Pathfinder capability. So Pathfinder is a dissolvable agent that is deployed from the broker VM. We talked about broker VM in a previous value newsflash, and it deploys after a medium or higher severity network analytics alert is triggered, and it only deploys onto Windows endpoints where no agent, XDR agent is already installed. So the catch here is that Pathfinder telemetry has no visibility into pre-breach activities. And where in the breach activity Pathfinder is deployed and you start getting that level of endpoint visibility and everything that it collects is similar to the XDR Pro version once it's on the endpoint, then you may miss some critical information. The initial breach vector and how the adversary got in, how they set up persistence. You don't know where in the breach lifecycle this, ad, this uh, Pathfinder was deployed, but once it's on, then you start getting all that and it extends, um, it continues to extend while these alerts are coming in um, for a period of time. Usually the default is about two weeks, but if things keep happening on that endpoint, then it will stay in the environment. Finally, let's look at the XDR Pro forensic triage capability. So this is deployed after a breach has occurred. Now you can have this running with the XDR Pro endpoints already installed and all of this information can be collected, but the main focus of the forensic package is for incident responders. So like our unit 42 team, customer did not have us in the environment they get some indication that they've been breached. Maybe it was an alert on an IDS system or something, they don't know. They just see something going on or maybe they had a ransomware detonation and they're out of commission. They pick up the bat phone, they call Unit 42 and they deploy and come out. They put the pro agent on with the forensic triage enabled. So you go into the same agent setting area under the pro and you enable the collection of forensic data and then you can trigger a triage collection on the endpoint. And so this is basically kind of looking back in time at what has happened on the system. There are a lot of raw artifacts that Windows systems, and this is for Windows right now, Windows systems have in cache, in log files, um, in the uh, what they call the MFT table, the file table of files, and even files that have been deleted, there's still evidence in there of when those files were deleted, and there might be remnants of the file that are remaining that might be able to be retrieved. And so this triage package is going to go grab all of this different type of raw artifact evidence and bring it into XDR. Now, this requires work and it requires a level of expertise. This is not something a frontline SOC analyst is going to be able to do. This is where incident responders come in and they are well-trained, certified and expert in doing forensic reconstruction using these raw artifacts to piece together what the adversary has done. Now, the thing is, is that the adversary um, advanced adversaries, at least ones that are as well versed uh, in the ways of cybersecurity and forensic tracking, will attempt to clear as much of this evidence as they can. For instance, they can, if they've got admin level capability on the endpoint, they can clear the Windows event logs. And so if you come in post breach and deploy the agent and one of the artifacts it grabs is the Windows event logs, it may not see into the breach activity window. The, the first thing it's gonna see is a, an event that says my logs were cleared and then everything going forward is captured. So this is good, in, and it's good in combination with XDR Pro, as we showed in the first uh, visibility timeline slide, where raw artifact data gathered by the forensic package can give added visibility 
above what the telemetry of the XDR Pro agent just by itself can do. There's a lot of things down in these raw artifacts that can give some other indications of what the adversary was up to. So all three of these capabilities play a role in an organization's cyber defense posture. There are going to be endpoints where for some reason an agent could not be deployed. Maybe it was a highly sensitive system and they didn't want an agent running on it full time. Maybe they were okay with Pathfinder if something was happening on that endpoint. Or maybe there was a supportability issue or maybe they just hadn't gotten to deploy to those uh, that subnet or that part of the organization yet. Whatever the reason is, each one of these capabilities has a role in the organization. And as you do your discovery and discussions with your prospects and customers, you can help them understand and align what these capabilities are to help them better defend themselves. So remember, visibility is key to detection and prevention in the environment. XDR Pro is going to give you that best opportunity to prevent adversaries from succeeding in their mission objective or what I call endgame. Pathfinder is excellent on Windows endpoints that for whatever reason do not have an agent already installed, and your forensic triage capability can mine through raw artifacts and uncover adversary motion even after the breach has occurred.